so we're out and about doing my first um like vlogging it's kind of yeah it's like kind of yeah, like a vlog exactly. yo guys what's going on so we are currently in london uh we just arrived it's currently like half eight um i'm here with alex we've got chris we've got gypsy we've got george chloe chantel and yeah this is where we're gonna be spending the johto tour no, we are way. here at the safari uh Sevilla safari so yo guys welcome to another video today is gonna be the go fest day one yo guys what is going on welcome back to a new video as you can tell this is the go fest finale event and it has just turned 10 o'clock yo guys what's going on welcome back and today is litwick community day we are here in nice what is going on welcome back to another video in today's video it's going to be a bit different than usual we are going to be doing a little like 2022 wrap up a summary and pretty much going through my pokemon collection for the first time ever i've never made a video uh, regarding my collection and we're also going to look at some of our best moments and also our first ever moments here on youtube um, because if you guys don't already know we actually began vlogging and doing our proper pokemon go content on the channel about 11 and a half to 12 months ago so yeah we've only been on youtube for about a year what's an insane year it has been been to two different countries uh, which is my first year actually traveling to a different country and of course it, it, it was for Pokemon and we're going to look at some of our first moments and some of our best moments of the year uh, so to start off with our first bit I want to look back on is actually our first ever YouTube video so if you guys don't know I made my first vlog back in I believe it was January maybe February time and it was the Mountains of Power vlog and this was the first time you guys actually met me myself RA and TPM Pokemon. So yeah, let's look at the first clips of the Mountains of Power event. So we're out and about doing my first um, like vlogging. It's kind of yeah, it's like kind of yeah, like a vlog. Like a vlog uh, yeah. We're going to be like basically bringing you guys along for the Pokemon uh, the Power Ma Mountain of Power event at the minute. It happened. We managed to get ourselves a shiny Machop. Um, it's currently nine o'clock now, so it's took nearly forty eight. Um, hours for this to happen and he's my first shiny <coughs> of the video to act is free who would have thought that um we would have started back then and we would be where we are now um at the moment of recording this i have recently just hit 10,000 subscribers which was absolutely amazing it was my end of year goal and i wanted it to be a challenge and you guys have helped me reach that goal and we have surpassed i think at the moment we're on 10,020 subscribers so it's been absolutely crazy and I just want to thank you all for that. Um, the next little uh, moment slash memory slash clip I want you guys to see with me is the Johto Tour. And uh, this was the first ever tour event I actually took part in. I was on playing when the Kanto Tour actually first happened. So the Johto Tour was my first ever experience. And we went to London, which if you guys don't know where London is, London is the capital city of the United Kingdom. And we went to London and it was a crazy, crazy experience. There was quite a few of us that, that were that, that when there was about five um, no there, i think there was about eight of us seven or eight of us who went to uh london for the Joto tour it was absolutely crazy so yeah guys enjoy these couple of clips literally got my first shiny just a minute ago it was a shiny total dog as you can see on the screen now also guys i managed to hatch a uh falabi favorite shiny i was really wanting this like this was the one shiny i was hoping to get and it was shiny slugma what a crazy experience it was catching wild legendaries or having the chance to see a wild legendary appear on the overworld map. Um, I believe this was the first time it ever happened in Pokemon Go where wild legendaries were an actual thing. Of course, nowadays we do have the uh, elite raids where you do have the chance of um, the uh, Kanto bird spawning and with the daily intense we do have the Galarian birds. But yes, this I think this was the first ever taste that we had a wild um legendary pokemon which of course could have been shiny we ended on 19 shiny pokemon after joe tour and i got that shiny i was hunting for which was the shiny slugma i was so so happy to finally get that shiny slugma okay guys the next little memory slash clip i want to share with you would be my first ever time going to an in-person pokemon event my first time traveling by airplane and my first time leaving the country to explore another country which was the Sevilla Safari Zone guys that was an insane experience man like that was my like I said the, my first ever time traveling into another country and of course it had to be for Pokemon the Sevilla Safari Zone was a, an amazing amazing time we met a lot of other Pokemon Go YouTubers for example Mystic7, Trainer Club, Zoe2Dots, um, 
trainer tips. We met JT Valor. So yeah, we met a lot of um, guys who do make Pokemon Go content as well. It was absolutely crazy. So yeah, man, enjoy this clip of the Sevilla Safari Zone. Part. This is the Mad. part. Um, the event doesn't start for another 45 minutes. You know what? Whilst, whilst I'm going to catch this blue spider quickly, this, yeah, this will be my Pokédex entry. Oh, I quick caught it, so I didn't see it. <laughs> Uh, and now, I mean, to be fair, if any, any of my fans see me, feel free to come and get a little picky pick. Feel free, guys. You know, could do with one of yours, please. <laughs> <laughs> First shiny has come. It is what? It's half ten. The event's been on for an hour and a half. But I was lining up for merch, so I would say I've probably been playing for about an hour. Uh, and the first shiny is a Skarmory. When we went to the Sevilla Safari Zone, guys, I wasn't too sure on like what to expect from in-person Pokemon Go events because if I'm completely honest with you, I was a returning player. I hadn't really known a lot about in-person Pokemon events. I know there was the Go Fest in 2019 in Dortmund. And other than that, I didn't really know what a Safari Zone was. So I was absolutely amazed when we went there. Um, I did get myself the shiny Taurus, which was very, very cool because Taurus is not my regional and I got it shiny. So I was gassed about that. Um, right, the next big, big event that happened this year was GoFest, of course, yeah. So we had GoFest Day 1, which was another an amazing experience. We, I think we had the debut of Shiny Axu as well. Um, so we was hunting for that, of course. So yeah, man, enjoy these couple of clips of GoFest. Magnificent of what just happened. So I hatched five, five kilometer megs. The first one was a Tyrogue. The IV is not too good. I then hatched a Shiny Tyrogue. Absolutely madness. IV is probably the worst you can get. The second one was a Mantyke, and then the last one was a Mazaril. I banged two shinies in five eggs. <laughs> Sounds weird, but I got two shinies from five eggs, guys. Absolutely amazing. And the GoFest starts in three minutes. So yeah, this is just before the GoFest starts. I know it's going to be a decent time. Jumping into another Kyogre raid here, guys. Still after my first shiny. We're an hour and 15 minutes in. Haven't even had a single shiny yet. Three, two, one. 3864. Oh, what is yours? 2843. Another Kyger down, still not the shiny. When it comes to GoFest Day 1, guys, we were struggling heavy on the whole shiny count. Everyone around me was getting shiny after shiny after shiny. We, I think, struggled. We may have got maybe two or three shines on day one. We'd done a bit better on day two, yeah, but day one was a struggle. So, yeah, it was, but, you know, nevertheless, a shiny count does not matter. It was another amazing experience which I got to share with you all here on the YouTube channel. Of course, guys, if you do want to see any of the full videos of these um, that we're talking about, I will leave them linked in the description below. Feel free to go back and watch them videos. Of course, be aware the quality will not be as good as it is now because we have made a lot of progression and uh, improvements to our setup. We now officially have a camera. When I first died, I was literally using an iPhone 7 to record. So uh, it's been a crazy, crazy year. and We've done a lot of good improving and yeah, man. Uh, but yeah, that was GoFest Day 1. And the next big moment of uh, my you know, YouTube Pokemon Go experience was the GoFest wrap-up event. So if you guys did take part in the GoFest, you would then know there was the in-person GoFest is held in Seattle, in Sapporo, and in Berlin. Um, so Berlin, Germany, Seattle, America, and Sapporo, Japan. Alongside um, the GoFest like, happening, we did have the Ultra Beast breakout. Uh, or incursion with them all happening in the in person at the wrap up we were able globally to encounter these all and um I, yeah i did this my first time getting a buzzwell getting zerg tree and getting Feromosa. alongside that we had munart was making its pokemon go shiny debut so it was an overall amazing experience man so enjoy these clips as well it has taken around Half hour, but we do have our first shiny today, which is a shiny Wubat. I'm hoping that we can get up to 10 shinies today because you guys don't already know from the day one and day two vlogs, we did only get 10 across day one and two. Three, Three two, one. one. Shiny, shiny Pikachu. Pikachu. Oh my God, I got oh, it. it Let's it go. Is. 518. That's better than mine Is that well. good? Yo, 518 oh, on the shaming Pikachu from the raid, guys. You love to see. If you guys want to see what the non-shiny looks like, go over, over the TPM Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's consistent. It's 13, 13, 13. Guys, shiny action, bro. What? I was literally just ab about to record some field research encounters and then this, I'm actually popped up and uh, well, I pressed on it and it's a shiny.
The final little memory slash clip I want to share with you all was probably going to be my Litwick Community Day, which I'd done out in Nice. So uh, this is my first time doing a comm day um, a, like in a different country. It was absolutely crazy, man. So I want to share a couple of clips on that, but it could quite easily have been um, some of the other. For example, we began our first 24 hours grind video um, later um, in 2022. We also began at the field research battles and uh, yeah, we just had a lot of good stuff happen. But yeah, enjoy these clips of Nice uh, Litwick Community Day. First shiny has been secured of the Community Day. I'm gonna check the IVs on it, see if it is any uh, the good, but yo, the shiny looks a lot better than what I was expecting. Field research, so do we get a shiny? Uh, we do as well, <laughs> let's go. 406, that is gonna be awful IVs, but there we go. That's gonna be a decent, it's gonna be at least a two star shiny. We will take them all day long. <laughs> back to back shinies, let's go. 536. <laughs> we get some decent luck on this cluster. Alongside uh, Nice being an amazing memory for myself, Litwick was also a very um, sought after slash like anticipated shiny coming to Pokemon Go. A lot of people were speculating that Litwick was going to come, and a lot of people had wanted Lit Litwick to come to Pokemon Go like the year before. So, yeah, it was an amazing experience going to Nice to do the Litwick Com Day. We had an amazing time. Right, now, probably what you guys are wanting to see the most is going to be our Pokemon Go collection. This is going to be the first time you guys. Uh, and myself has actually probably sat down and gone through my collection for a long time. You guys have never seen my collection. You may have seen snippets in videos. But in today's video, we're going to go through my Hondo collection, my Shiny collection, my Nando collection, and my other like rare Pokemon collection. So um, starting off with, okay, so our Nando collection, we would do it from oldest to newest. Okay, so we would go through. So Harry Armour was our first ever Hondo that I know about. So this was in 2020. The thing is here, before we had the new, like, for example, you had the charts which said, you know, that now tells you it's 15, 15, 15, what the IVs exactly are. We had a system where you couldn't quite tell exactly what the, um, you couldn't quite tell exactly what the IVs were. So I may have lost a couple, but from on the account that is still existing, it's Harry Armour in 2020. So yeah, Harry Armour is our first one. Our second shiny is Altaria. I believe this was from the Community Day. Um, the yeah, the Swablu Community Day, I believe that was from. Uh, yep, Swablu Community Day. Our second hundo is Mayonetric. So, Mayonetric, when did we get you? We got it after defeating a Rocket Grunt. He is purified. So this was before I even knew what shadows were. We purified a um, must, it must be an, an electric, and it turned out to be a hundo Mayonetric. Plus, all we then got after, which on the 24th of I believe that is May. Um, I think I caught this as like a home spawn, which was crazy. We then got Clefable, which was the 28th of May. Uh, I have no idea how we got this one. Umbreon, uh, very, very nice. Uh, we have a Pidgeot, which is another cool one. Of course, it has the Mega. We have Espeon. We have uh, the Gumi. I remember getting uh, Shiny. I remember getting Hundo Gumi from the wild, I believe. Yeah. Oh, I, I, oh we hatched him, bro. We hatched him during the Go Fest day one. Um, wow. Okay, that is that's very very nice. I didn't even know. We caught this during the 2021 Go Fest, so that is a little bit of um, trophy there. This must have been not long after the debut of Gumi into Pokemon Go, so I will take that for sure. And it's caught during Go Fest. Our next one is a Blaziken. I remember getting it. This was from a trade. So we done a trade. Um, with my fiance and it gave us a non-lucky but hundo blaze king which is crazy which is very very nice now of course we do have the um, mega blaze king we then have trimeco i believe this is from a research breakthrough box so it was when trimeco was in the research breakthrough we have a Lilip. this one was called john field research and we have an alakazam which is very nice uh, this is a port joint special research and once again very very nice because it does have the hundo alakazam Swirlix was caught in the wild. Hundo Swirlix, uh, another Hundo Pidgey caught in the wild as well, but it has been involved into Pidgey Oto. Uh, Spritzy, another cool one. Oddish, Oddish. Uh, Tyranitar, very, very nice, especially when Mega Tyranitar comes out. Pumpkaboo, uh, yo, let's go. Hundo Pumpkaboo, gorgeous. So we have the uh, family there, and that's an extra small gorgeous. Uh, Sableye, very nice. Growlithe, Toga Kiss. Uh, Wolverine, 
really cool. Helioptile, I remember getting Helioptile, guy, uh, Helioptile guys. So we got him in the debut of Helioptile during the, um, I believe it was the Kanto Power event. So that was very, very cool, man. I was really gassed. There was actually a video on the channel. Uh, so you guys can go and see when we got the Hundo Helioptile. Hundo Phenosaur, Hundo Voltorb and Hundo Hisui Volta. Once again, this is another clip on the channel. We got these back to back near enough. I, I, were they back to back? They may have been back to back. Uh, so if you guys want to see that, that is on the channel. Hundo Flareon, Hundo Ellie Kid, I believe this one was hatched of course during the Johto Tour. We have a Hundo Swampert, which of course has the Mega now. Another Eevee with the Flower Crown. Tangrowth, which is a Hundo. We have Stuffle during Community Day. Love Disc. Tentacle, Gyarados, Alonan, uh, the Golem, Trap Inch, Young Goose. I believe Young Goose was hatched. Yeah, we hatched Young Goose. We then have Barboach, Wimpod, Hydreigon, a very nice Star Raptor, Rockruff, Sneasler, hatched again when that first came out. Um, so, yeah, very cool. Obstagoon, Caterpie, Vogamola, Teddy Ursa, Yveltal. Halt during a raid hour, so that is actually on the channel as well. That's during the Yveltal raid hour stream. Your mask, I believe, once again, research that was during the 24 hour video. Duskull, Dratini, which is now Dragonite, of course. Another Dratini, another Dratini. Ursa Luna, which we got, um, we evolved our Hondo Teddy Ursa on the Teddy Ursa community day. Carvana, Volpix, which is now a Lonan. Uh, Nine Tails, Mr. Mime, Glarian Farfetch, we got that very recently, and Hundo Aaron and Hundo Swinner, which were from our recent 24 hour videos a Sand True, a Scraggy, a Rog and Roller, a Litwick, and a Cabalion, and a Galalee. Okay, so we have that is our Hundo collection, guys. So, yeah, man, let me know how your Hundo collection is looking. The big one, let's go through our shiny collection, guys. I have no idea. We have 576 shinies here. <coughs> Charizard, this was drawn Charizard Community Day. Uh, we've got a Honchkrow there, a Medicham, a Best Buddy Shiny Gyarados. We, this was drawn Trico uh, Community Day. Ludicolo, Lotad, Castform, I believe. Lotad and Castform come out on the same Community Day. I think you had an increased chance of Lotad and Castform. We have got Salamance, we have a Raichu. Caught on Christmas Eve. The funny thing with Raichu is I also have another shiny Pikachu, which is then caught on Christmas Eve of 2020. So hopefully we can keep the tradition up and get another shiny on Christmas Eve in a couple of days. Um, we then have an Empoleon, which is quite cool. We have a shiny Infernape. I love that one. Uh, we have a shiny Magikarp. We've had so many shiny Magikarps. This was when I came back to Pokemon Go. So I came back to Pokemon Go. I, like, I started returning playing. And on the day of me returning or the weekend's Smeagol was having it shiny, like, I think unlocked, I think it, it was, and we managed to get shiny Smeagol, um, like, within, like, an hour or so or before it stopped being shiny available, so I'm, like, one of the only guys uh, in our little uh, the group of returning players that does have the shiny Smeagol, which is very nice. We have shiny Celebi, of course, was that uh, caught during special research? We have Swellow. Lil Lil Snub, so uh, Lil Lil Snub guys, we, <laughs> when we was doing our transfer of shiny, if the legendary didn't shine, we got rid of Lil Snub, we then got another shiny snubble, so now he's called Lil Lil Snub, um, very cool, we have the shiny Dragonair, shiny Dragonite, our 50th shiny was a Dratini on the 2021, um, I think that was during the spotlight hour, we got Swab Blue Community Day of course, we have Nida Queen, Spoink, Bayonet, Houndoom, Mighty Yenna, Alone and Muck. Alone and Muck kind of disappoints me, man, uh, because he's not too different or too dissimilar from the original form. Nevertheless, we have that Muck. And guys, Mighty Yenna, what a shiny um, Poochie Yenna and Mighty Yenna are. Very, very cool shinies, very cool. We then had Gibble Community Day back in 2021. So we had the Gibble Community Day in June of 2021. We then had Dino Community Day of June of 2022. And I believe we're going to have the Max U Community Day of uh, June 2023. So yeah, guys, make sure you're playing in June of 2023. Side up, another amazing shiny. Love that shiny. We then had Tepig Community Day. A hundred shiny was Arcanine. We have Fro, which is actually not my regional. And we got this during the GoFest. 
2021, which is another cool one. Uh, we have uh, Metagross, an amazing shiny. A shiny Absol from GoFest, which I know, Derp, you love Shiny Absol. We then have Pikachu with the Meloetta hats. Shiny Snorlax, of course, another cool shiny. Shiny Sork, which is the um, counterpart to Shiny Throw. A shiny Lucky Dialga. I believe this was caught, uh, caught at a raid, but this was traded, this one. So I think the one I traded with was actually caught during GBL. Shiny Eevee, so we had Eevee Community Day, so we've got Shiny Eevee, Espeon, Umbreon, Glaceon, Sylveon, Vaporeon, Flareon, Jolteon. We have them all. Um, shiny Butterfree with the bow from the Fashion Week event. Mesprit and Amazelf. I believe Azelf, we got it on like the second raid, as you can see, uh, which was crazy. We just need Shiny Ootsie. Um, shiny Weevil, another amazing shiny, and sa actually saying that the uh, de-evolution shiny Sneasel is of course another cool shiny. Duskull Stanslar, we got this from 2021. Uh, we then got the shiny Sphere as well, um, if that actually comes up at any point. M uh, Machop com no, December Community Day, which was of course featuring all of the communities of 2021. Fletchling. Um, Pikachu, here we go. So yeah, Pikachu with the Santa hat caught on the uh, Christmas Eve of last year, which was very nice. Uh, Spill Classic Com Day. So this is when we first come back to the channel. Bulbasaur Community Day. Uh, no, no, so Spill was the Community Day and Bulbasaur was the Classic. This was, the, Bulbasaur was the first ever Classic Com Day we ever had. We then had Hoppit Com Day. Uh, Shiny Deoxy, Freligam, Mandibuzz, Pineco, Shuckle. Mantine, Ellie Kid, Slugma from Joe O'Tor. Absolutely love this shiny, man. One of my favorite shinies for sure. Zigzagoon. This was actually before Zigzagoon was actually available. Before it had a community day, we caught it from a raid, which was amazing. But then it had a community day not long after. Um, then we have uh, Kangaskhan. This is from Sevilla Safari Zone. Uh, this was actually when we had the raid day for Kangaskhan and then Sevilla Safari Zone. So this was our first ever shiny at Sevilla Safari Zone. Uh, and we then got shiny Taurus there. We got three shiny um, Safari Zone Pikachus. Ponyta, another cool shiny man, another cool shiny. Uh, my first ever shiny on stream. So this is when we started doing a raid hour with streams. And uh, it's called Snip Ret TPM. So because we had Sniper Boys, we had Retro Pokemon and TPM Pokemon in the stream. So then we had the Field Research um, Breakthrough of Clanidos and Shieldon. Dino Community Day, of course. Starly Community Day, Dialga, Moltres and Palkia, all shiny, Cottony shiny, Zigzagoon Community Day, we had the Bug Out event here for shiny Wormpole and shiny Caterpie, uh, Pseudo Widow, when was Pseudo Widow caught I believe, Go Fest, so this is Go Fest now, Pampor, Muna, we completed the Muna family on the um, day of its release, Malamar, Rock and Roller Con Day, Shiny Yveltals, Lil Snub again, shiny French form fur throw, which was I was so happy I got this because this was just before we went to, to Nice. Um, shiny Xerneas, Litwick Conde when we was in Nice, Giratina, Dust Clops with the crown, um, Dratini, Dratini, Teddy Ursa. There we go, guys, that is it, and we recently got the shiny Makahita. Okay, so now let's go into the Nundo collection. Nundo collection. These are our Nundos, so we only have four because I didn't actually used to save my Nundos before. But we have Nundo Dratini, Nundo Rathstar, Nundo Swinab, and Nundo Snubble. And the only proper like rare Pokemon I'd probably say I have is probably, for me anyways, because I'm a returning player, the only Pokemon I've got from 2016 are these three. I've got a Gengar, which is uh, actually maxed out as my level 3 Gengar. And we have Primeape and lucky squirtle from 2016 so yeah guys that is my collection but yeah man hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video i want to thank you all for an amazing 2022 and hopefully we have another amazing 2023 going forward if you are new please consider subscribing guys and uh if you are actually enjoying the content please let me know in the comments down below and smash that like button with that being said guys have a good rest of your 2022 and i will see you all again in 2023 peace Oh,